guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Before we get into anything, I have started a new reading channel. Um, since my second channel, um, so T Ash Miracle will be the backup to the main channel. Due to my video being taken down a few weeks ago, wrongfully, okay? Because I did not violate any of the community guidelines. But my video was taken down. And so I'm just going to keep the So T Ash Miracle channel as a backup to this channel. And I'm going to just start a whole new reading channel. So if you guys could follow that channel, it would be much appreciated. But anyway, um, Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj has made Spotify history thanks to Cardi B fans. So it has been reported that Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj are the most streamed female rappers of 2022 on the U.S. Spotify chart. And it looks like um, Barbie Gang, okay, because they're not Barbie Gang, it's called Barbie Gang, has been streaming Nicki Minaj all 2022 and been blocking out her name on the Spotify rap list so nobody would know. But unfortunately, um, if you got to scratch somebody's name out on your Spotify rap list, that means you feel guilty listening to them. And um, Barbie Gang has been put on blast, okay? Now, here's my thing. I don't have Spotify or Apple Music. I use Tidal. Um, reason why I use Tidal is because they pay the artists more on Tidal. Spotify and Apple, they pay the least when it comes to artists, okay? That's why, you know, Queen Bee and Camel Face were boycotting for years. But I'm going to be honest with you. There might be people on my Spotify rap list, if I did have one, that you guys might be shocked about. Um, I can tell you right now, Beyonce, Nikki would be on there. Um, unfortunately, Chris Breezy the Colorist would be on my Spotify rap list if I did have one because I've been listening to Under the Influence a lot this year, okay? And so I can give Chris Breezy the Colorist his props. That song is fire. He would be on my Spotify rap list. Um, I believe Mariah the Scientist would be on my Spotify rap list. Um, Summer Walker. And then Labyrinth. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I love this guy. I don't talk about him a lot, but I like his music. He produces and writes for the Euphoria soundtracks. Um, this guy is talented. Um, he's worked with Nicki Minaj in the past. Um, they did a collaboration for Majesty featuring Eminem. And so he would be on my Spotify rap list. Um, Harry Styles might be on it too. I have no shame. If an artist makes good music, I'm listening to it. Okay. And then for like female rappers, it might be like Flo Millie. I listen to a lot of her. Um, Flo Millie probably be up there. Um, but with that being said, I think Barbie Gang. Um, should just come out and admit that they are secret fans of Nicki Minaj. Instead of hiding it, there's no need to hide it. Nicki Minaj is the queen of rap, and you guys prove that. And I also believe that Barbie Gang, a.k.a. Barty Gang, has been secretly voting for Nicki Minaj at the fan votes, okay? During the EMAs and the AMAs, I think they were secretly voting for Nicki Minaj because that's secretly their favorite artist. And I think that they should just come out, you know, before the album drops, you know, because they're going to be waiting on Nicki Minaj anyway, and just say that Nicki Minaj is your favorite artist. You don't have to hide it. Um, Nicki Minaj is the queen of rap. Um, Eleven Faces didn't have no hits out, so I can understand why you guys were listening to her. But you guys have been put on blast, okay? Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion, it looks like she is canceling shows. So it has been reported that she was supposed to perform at L.A. State Historic Park Saturday, December 10th. And I guess on the 11th, she was supposed to headline and she has canceled those shows. Many speculate it has a lot to do with the Tory Lanez case because trial is beginning. 
Okay, a few days ago, they picked the jury selection and so trial is beginning. And so ever since then, you know, Megan has been a little bit quiet. Okay, she's on a bit of a hiatus, so she won't be doing shows, but I'm sure she'll come back in 2023 since she's dropping an album and she says she's going on a world tour. I don't think that this is a good look if you're promoting that you're going on a world tour. You can't be canceling last minute. Because people have already bought tickets. But the good thing is they have a replacement and the replacement is Lil Baby. Lil Baby is popping right now. He's doing his thing. So I think that this is a good look for Lil Baby. Not a good look for Megan though. Moving on to SZA and Travis Scott. So it looks like SZA, she announced the album cover for her new album coming in December, SOS. And Travis Scott posting a bunch of eye emojis on his Insta story. So it looks like Travis Scott and SZA might be working together again. Now, no shade of SZA, but this is not a good idea. Girl, go get that Kendrick Lamar collaboration. Call it today. Um, The reason why it's not a good idea, because Travis is flopping right now. I mean, he's been putting out music. Nobody's been checking for it because of the Astroworld um, scandal. You know, when eight people died at his concert, I mean, I just don't feel like it's really worth it, okay? Because, you know, Travis Scott, he's not really good right now. When we're talking about, like, how the general public is perceiving him, he has to do a bunch of collaborations to get any type of, you know, buzz. And then the song doesn't do well because we're still talking about, you know, the festival incident that happened last year. So, you know, it is what it is, but I don't think it's a smart idea for SZA to have a collaboration with Travis. Moving on from that, though, um, Doja Cat calls out people questioning her blackness in the day's interview that she recently put out. She recently said that uh, my family was black. My mom was the only white influence in my life. Growing up, it was all black energy and, you know, people have been accusing her of not really resonating with her blackness or her black side. And so she addressed that. And I think that people are only questioning her blackness is because of her quirky personality and the fact that she don't really like black men. Okay. She liked the white C instead of the BBC. And so with that being said, people are just like, are you black or not? And then on top of that, you know, she don't typically make black music. Yes, she raps, but, you know, people see Doja Cat as more of a pop artist than they do as a rapper or an R&B artist. Even though sometimes she does get put into the R&B category, she never gets put into the rap category. Especially if Nicki and Megan are in the rap category you won't really see Dolja, even at the Grammys. She was in the pop categories. But Vegas, Vegas was in the rap category, but, you know, she was mostly in the pop categories. So it looks like Thames, who wrote Lift Me Up by Rihanna, and um, she worked with Champagne Thickums, Future, um, Wizkid. Um, she is being called out. Fans are not happy with the way she's dressing, um, fans have been calling her out because she recently did a interview and a magazine cover. And I guess people feel like she wasn't dressed appropriately, but she says that she is a Christian and she has clapped back. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I am not your Christian savior. I didn't come up here to uphold your beliefs about capital G-O-D. I will not fit into the box you try to put me in. I won't satisfy you in that area. Please find the person that will or ask yourself why you care. Now, um, fans are calling her out because she says that she is a Christian, but they don't feel like she's been acting very Christian-like. I feel like, well, if y'all mad now, wait until she does her symbolisms. If y'all upset about her not being quote-unquote Christian-like now, Wait until the industry makes her do her symbolisms. Yeah, she got to pay up for that number one that she had with Future and the number one she got with WizKid. She got to pay up for that. That's not free. She's on tour now. She getting money. The industry coming for Thames. If y'all upset now, wait until she do them symbolisms and you you see her in her cheetah print and she's covering up her eye. Y'all going to be real upset, okay? So this is light. 
Okay, her showing a little bit of skin. This is just light work now. Okay, wait on it. If she wants to continue to have some success, she's going to have to do her symbolisms like everybody else. And y'all going to be pressed. But anyway, let me know how you guys feel about it. Um, check out my recent video I posted on Patreon. I believe it was um, yesterday afternoon or night. I don't remember. But anyway, it's a really good video on the Met. Okay? Behind the scenes exclusive. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.